Welcome everyone, here's how you use the cover screen in Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So you will see the date, time and battery. In order to view those, just double tap. Now once you have done, double tap. If you slide up, it will bring all of your cards available. So if you need to do purchases with Samsung Wallet or Samsung Pay or Google Pay, you slide up, uh, you may be asked to enter in your fingerprint and you can place your phone next to a reader and you'll be good to go. Now, if you slide down from the top here, you'll be brought to the control center. So in here, you have quick access to your toggles, Wi-Fi, okay? Uh, so I'll enter in my fingerprint for that, and you can turn on or off the Wi-Fi with just a tap. And if you slide across, you have all these other options here. One thing to note with the flashlight, when you tap on it, that it will ask you to click on the volume keys. So you move the phone away from your face, click the volume keys, and you can turn on or off the flashlight. Keep in mind, there's no sensors to check if you're actually looking at the, uh, the flashlight or not. So you can just click the volume keys while you're staring at it. You have the turn off button, or you can just click on the volume rockers here. And of course, we have the brightness. You just slide across like so. This is the brightness, of course, for the cover screen, not the inner screen. Now, if we slide across, we have all of these widgets available. So if I slide, 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 you can see. If I go to the furthest page and tap on Add Widget, try that again, uh, you can see all of these other widgets which are available, okay? I will go uh, into more detail for this. You can see the preview, tap, and what we'll add. And if you find the widget in question, you can also remove, maybe you don't like the timer or the voice recorder, you can just get rid of that one as well. Now, if you double click the power button, so click, click, you can now use the cover screen as a front camera. So this is useful because you're using the rear camera, okay, instead of the front one, and so that will give you better quality. So real quick, I'm going to exit out this mode and I'm gonna increase my brightness so I can just show you some cool stuff. So when we are in the camera itself, it's going to have a zoomed in preview of the final result. So in order to show the actual preview of the camera, just double tap, and of course, as this dumb tutorial, so this double tap after the tutorial, and you can see it will show the exact preview for the picture you are taking here, okay? We are currently in photo mode, so in order to take a picture, you can bring your hand out, and it will give a little timer. You can click on the volume rockers to take a picture, or you can tap on the screen, there will be a small timer, and it will take a picture. If you need to change the lens, so right now it's using the regular camera, if you want to use the ultra wide, slide down. If you want to use the regular camera, slide up. If you slide to the left here, you can change to the video mode. Uh, so the video mode will use the options you selected in the camera app, okay? So you will need to open up the camera itself here. And so if I tap on the screen, it will do the timer. And you just tap again to stop. You can also do the same with the hand as well. And of course you can use the volume buttons as well. If we slide to the right, you're going to see the portrait mode. So this is going to use uh, the, the, the camera here and you can see the background. It's going to blur that guy out. When you see ready, just click on the shutter, tap the screen, or put your hand out in the background and then that will take a picture using the cover screen. Now for more customization, we need to go onto the device itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings app. We're then gonna scroll all the way down until we see the cover screen. So from here, we have the clock style. So in the clock style, you're going to see uh, these basic options here, okay? These basic layouts, just black uh, on top of um, uh, the colors here. However, if you tap on customize, you can change the color. And when you are using the basic modes, you can actually change the background image by tapping on clock background image you have the option to choose from my wallpapers or choose from gallery. My wallpapers uses the Samsung's themes app. So if you downloaded uh, 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 wallpapers from there, you'd be good to go. Choose from gallery. You can't, you can't, don't have to just select PNG or regular images. You can also choose a GIF to be the uh, lock screen for your cover screen. And what that will do is it will actually animate. Okay, it will go on loop. So if you want to do that, you can. Now you also have animated things here, so graphical, uh, etc. So if I choose this one and I'm happy with it, I'll tap on done. When you go to the cover screen, double tap, 
you will see the animated lock screen. So with some of these animated lock screens, you can tap to interact. That's one you can't. But if you want an example of one you can interact with, let's go to this guy right here. Don't forget you can customize each graphical view with the customize button. Let's go to lock screen, double tap, and you can tap here to customize, okay? Change the color. Is it useful? No, but is it cool? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the widgets area here. So remember those widgets earlier that I was discussing? Well, you have the exact option to turn on or off, just like so, okay? Music, schedule, next alarm, health, voice recorder, all this stuff here. Tap on the toggle to turn it on, tap on the toggle to turn it off. If you want to reorder your widgets, just tap on the reorder button and you can slide up and down just like that. Now, I don't have any notifications available. However, if you did have notifications, you'd be able to interact with them. And uh, there's a feature where you can also respond to notifications using the voice recorder. Of course, I don't have notifications, but you just tap on them and then there'll be an option to reply and then you'll be able to reply with your voice. So with that being said, that covers everything. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.